Solar Eclipse Timer users, this is a two-minute app tutorial. I wanted to talk about version two of the Solar Eclipse Timer app. As you know, the app is now a free download with the ability to purchase eclipses in the future that you plan to observe. You'll be presented with the new user interface when you open the app, the Select a Task screen. The third button has the list of eclipses. The first eclipse listed is 2017. It is active in the app, so you have an immediate eclipse to play with. The eclipse that you're interested in observing in the future, you purchase. So if I were purchasing the next eclipse in 2019, I would go through the in-app buying process for that eclipse. So when you purchase the eclipse, it now becomes active in the list, and you can choose it and then practice using that eclipse. So obviously I am not in South America, but I can put in data for South America by entering it in the longitude and latitude lines. To make sure the app makes the proper time zone uh, conversions, I've changed my device to Santiago, Chile. So here I've put in coordinates for the beach in La Serena, uh, Chile, and you see that's in the path. I have four contact times down here. When I tap to load the contact times, I get one dialog screen, and then the times are loaded into the timer. Always re remember to allow notifications, and you see the eclipse that I've chosen is listed here, and these times are now the correct local time for uh, Chile. The app would be armed and ready to time the eclipse. If you ever are not going to finish an app session, always hit the stop button to clear the pending loaded notifications.